Hey, Brian from Garage Pool Hall. I got this uh, combustible gas detector, and uh, we actually uh, found a gas leak. Well, kind of where a gas leak is coming from, uh, our crawl space. So we have somebody coming shortly, but this is basically how I tested for that. Uh, so you turn this on, and it's going to say warm up. So you're going to let it warm up for, I think it's about 10 seconds. And you want to do this outdoors, so like you have no uh, gas interfering with it. You not have suppo supposedly clean air in your area. So that light went off. So I'm going to adjust this on the side, up and down, this little dial. Okay, so you want to back that slightly off. So see how you just want to back that off slightly so that red light goes out. And that will give you an idea of what how it works. And then uh, see, obviously, there's no light. It's clear. We'll put it down here into the crawl space real quick. And see how that red light went on? So that means there is a combustible gas detected. But uh, so... That's our crawl space, so we have somebody come and check it out. But anyway, that's how that works. And uh, yeah, this probably just saved our lives. Okay, Brian from Garage Wall. Stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching and be safe out there. Okay, so quick follow up. Thank goodness I actually did call our propane company. Um, it turns out our tank was really low. And uh, I guess with that stinky stuff that makes it smell like skunk or rotten eggs or whatever. Uh, I guess when your propane tank gets really low, um, that stinky smell will intensify. Um, so anyway, I was able to obviously spot check that, made the right phone calls. Uh, this thing definitely helped save save us some headaches and some nightmarish situations. But yeah, I definitely I would keep this handy if you are using any type of uh, propane, natural gas, uh, or whatever in your house. Uh, definitely a lifesaver. Hey, Brian from Graduate Hall. I just want to do a follow-up because uh, I had a pretty interesting, almost like dangerous situation on our hands. And this little detector, I didn't do a proper unboxing to show you, but that that's the packet that it comes in. Um, obviously, I, I cut through the sides, and we used this already. And then you get a, a thank you card and some directions that go over to calibration, uh, which I basically I, I did on video. Uh, but this, this little uh, combustible gas detector, uh, my wife calls it the sniffer, uh, it did a great job in saving a potential, uh, like, really bad situation that we had going on at the house. So just to uh, kind of give you the, the rest of the story, um, we had been smelling something that smelled like it was like a sewer back up in the house. And it was driving me crazy. We do have a, uh, a sewer grinder pump, so we thought something was wrong with that, but everything was fine with that. Um, my clothes washer machine, uh, the filter was kind of, it wasn't packed, but it was kind of full with, uh, with stuff. And it had a little bit of an odor to it as well. Um, if you ever have a, a washer machine, sometimes they have like a, a filter that you have to change every so often. So we cleaned that out. We kept smelling the smell and smell. It didn't smell like a typical gas leak smell, but it did have a weird odor to it. Um, so I ordered this Amazon. I got it the next day. Thank you, Amazon. That was that's really awesome. I love their uh, their prime shipping. And as soon as I put the batteries in, I calibrated it outside in the fresh air. Um, I went through that, in, you know, in the first part of the video. And then we, uh, as soon as I turned the unit on, it started basically detecting that there was a there was a gas leak in the house um, so that was definitely uh, like a scary situation I called our propane company uh, they came out within the hour and uh, this is something interesting that I found out so we filled our propane tank after uh, the winter uh, early springtime and it's a big enough tank that I didn't even think we used that much gas between uh, cooking and you know, using our clothes dryer, but I guess we did. So our propane tank got below 5%. And I guess from what the propane company was telling us that the, the, the odor uh, detector, um, it sits at the bottom of the tank because it's like, I guess it's slightly heavier than a propane gas. This is how they explain it. I don't know if it's 100% accurate. 
And when you get that low to the tank, it starts bringing up a lot, uh, a lot more of the, uh, um, the odor detector. So when you, the propane burns, it doesn't actually burn off all that odor, and it gives you kind of like a heads up that your tank is really low uh, before you get air trapped in the lines and everything else, uh, you know, fill your tank. So uh, one, it lets you know that there's a gas leak. Two, because of the concentration of it at the bottom of the tank with the propane gas sitting on top of the, the, the leak detector or the, the odor detector, it, will, uh, it gets more concentrated so the smell gets stronger. So every time we started running the dryer next to the, the washing machine, we kept getting that, like that rotten egg, foul sewer smell about it. It ended up being that our propane tank was so low. But this definitely helped confirm that there was, a, there was something going on. Um, but thank you for this product. This was absolutely awesome. And it helped uh, basically protect us against a, a dangerous situation, a potentially dangerous situation. But anyway, uh, this is one of my new favorite tools and I'm actually, I'm keeping it. Oh, it takes uh, three AAA batteries. We use the Amazon alkaline battery since they seem to work the best and last the longest. By the way, I'm keeping this in the house right next to uh, my washer and dryer, and uh, which is near our kitchen area. So if we ever detect a faint smell of something, I have a detector that can definitely let me know what's going on. But anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for this product. It, it definitely saved us. Be safe out there.